This is Halo Beach style. This is a beachy uh. Halo. What is up guys? Welcome back. Welcome to our one month anniversary of TikTok Top 10 presented by Trusted Critics. I'm Zachary Rusin here in the Los Angeles office and I'm joined by Danny Chamberlain in our New York office. How are you, Dan? What up, Zach? I'm doing great. One month, baby. One month strong. Let's keep it going. <laughs> one month, baby. So if you're new to this show, each week we pick our top 10 favorite TikToks of the week. We bring those forward and we make a scale of them and you guys vote. Can you tell us about that scale, Dan? It is basically this. The sound choice, the level of creativity, is the TikTok aspirational? Does it have longevity and the entertainment value? Let's, Let's get, get it, it rolling. Let's get it rolling. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it. Woo, 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 woo. Brace yourself, Zach. Here is my pick number 10. Oh. Your opinion. You oh. can keep it. I'm undefeated. Sorry about that one. Sorry about that one. Fake eye? <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I feel like it's this one's interesting because at first you kind of feel like you're about to see one of those girls on TikTok do the thing they usually do, but she does something very different here. She's showcasing something we don't see a lot in real life, and you see a lot of that on TikTok. There's a lot of unique people that get to have a voice, have a face, get seen out there, and I, I really like that about TikTok. I think people are getting more bold to do that too. I yep. see some people that, you know, generally don't feel comfortable getting in front of people and now they're getting up there. And I guess this is one of those people, but you're right, you know, here's this woman and you think it's gonna go one way and then she just removes her eye. It is, whoo, it's definitely <laughs> worth the top 10, baby. Let's see your number 10, here we go. Number 10. <laughs> what did I just walk into? <laughs> it is real! Toy Story is real! Now don't lie, every single one of us <laughs> has been in their room, looked at a toy, and been like, are you looking at me? Are you listening to me? And I just love the fun play with this user, El Guapo. It's just funny and I love it. What do you think, Dan? You know, I'll admit it, Toy Story is my favorite Disney movie of all time. And so seeing mm. it play out in real life, I've definitely gone through that routine in my head as a child. like. Are my toys alive? Some TikToks I file under really good timing. I think I would do that for this TikTok. I, my imagination is just running wild here. It's like, oh, I'm done with Corona. Let's let's kill each other. Uh huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. So that was my number ten. Let's move down the list to number nine. Starting with you, Dan. Number nine. Here's my number nine. Number nine. I love everything. Fire spreading all around my room. My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. I just think like this is the time of our lives for porn, all right? Whether it's real porn or food porn, and I'm gonna have to go on the food side of things, especially you know being in a relationship. So, that, so does this user Sizzle Poppy? Is that what they do? They make more food TikTok related videos, or is that their specialty? Yeah, Sizzle Poppy is very committed to food and. I love it. I love that he's committed to his lane, and this is the video that started to pop, and it showed up on my feed. Mm. So nice work, Sizzle Poppy. Just keep cruising in that lane. I'm coming to your restaurant whenever it's open. Let me know. Yeah, I mean, he kind of tied it all together, too. Like, it, it had a, we know why he was making it. Like, it's kind of like he leads you in with, hey, you can make this four, and then he shows you how he does mm -hmm. it, and then we get this delicious meal as well. So I think it kind of hit all three points in one video. Here is Zach's number nine. Okay guys, this is day four of trying to fill the whole snap map. And we're doing pretty good right now. But if you really want to help me out, just press share, other, cancel. And another way you guys can help me out is by clicking my bio and adding me on Snapchat. Thank you. What? 
What the hell? Yes, yeah, so this one's a little bit odd, but so Sean right here, this is one of those more uh, unique original ideas that I enjoy. So Sean is trying to fill the entire world map currently with snap figures. So you can see that he has almost all of North America, uh, both North and South, even has Alaska there with people, and he's trying to go global and fill this whole thing. So first of all, I'm spreading this message so that you guys can get on board, you can help him achieve this goal. But I also think it's never been done. It would be amazing just to see this entire map connected with all of these people he's connected with on Snapchat. Yeah, I think that's fun. I like those isolated videos that pertain to a bigger story. Right here, jumping in to a singular moment, I'm very confused. That being said, I like the idea. The idea is good, but also he needs to go global because he has Alaska, I think he has one in South America, and that's it. Maybe the first start is exactly what you're saying. Make it more understandable so that we as an audience know what you're actually doing. Good luck, Sean. Uh, I'm here for you. I don't know if Snapchat is. I didn't even know Snapchat existed. <laughs> so. Exactly. To be honest with you, I don't even have a Snapchat. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. I think it's cool either way. I'll download it to help. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> All right, Dan, what do you got? What do you got for your number eight pick? Here it is. Here we go. Sometimes people are like, why did you move back to New York? And I was like, I don't know. I just really love the ambiance. <laughs> <laughs> Very quick blip. <laughs> Quick blip, but I hope you understood. Uh, this is this is life in New York, baby. This is what we all miss about New York, baby. The well, I gotta say, Dan, it's so <laughs> fun to seeing the contrast in your picks versus mine. I have such a beach theme, and you have such a city vibe. This is a very New York thing. It's like every day is a unique concrete jungle experience, and I've seen this kind of stuff happen. Yeah, I feel for these people. I don't think they're doing a very wise thing by throwing everything out the window, but mm. I, I relate, all right? When you're moving, when you're, I don't know, maybe getting kicked out, you're just gonna throw <laughs> shit. Just get it out of my place. Get it out of my place. I have like four square inches. There's some thrifty people in New York, so, uh, you know, there's a good chance people are like waiting to catch it. Ooh, is that a leather jacket? Oh, that's vintage. Ooh, get him. Let's move it on to your My number, number eight. eight. Hit me with it. Here we go. Hey, so you back. Ah. I'm a savage. Yeah. Classy, bougie, ratchet. Yeah. Sassy, moody, hey. nasty. Hey. Yeah. Okay, I get it now. I, at first I didn't get it, now I get yeah. it. It takes you a minute. We are not in the dating game, but so many of the world is on it right now on these apps. And this man right here is obviously a techie guy, a mechanical guy, and he's built this drill to swipe for him because why do the legwork on the front end when you can just sit back and relax? <laughs> he's saving his fingers a lot of fatigue. I think he should probably include yeah. this in his bio. Hey, Shorty, I can design really weird, cool stuff, and you gotta DM me to figure out. I don't. D DM me. Oh, but in my box, girl. <laughs> I think uh, I think there's a girl out there for him. I, I hope you find there's love. I hope you find love, man. What do we got? Number seven pick, Dan. Can you show me your number seven pick? I sure can. Here it is. What? This is just this is just fun stuff. You know, these guys are using their spare time for good. I don't know, what do you think? I understood the process and I love it. And I think there's so many avenues of which you could do it, like time travel or anything. And even that he fits in there is funny as hell. And that editing style, but I couldn't I couldn't quite put it together at first. Like, what's changing about him? What are we seeing here? There might've been a little smoother way of showing this off. Maybe put a little text in the video itself. But sure. I love what this user's doing. I love what this family's doing. I think they can come together and do more stuff that highlights their similarities and how they can be united. I'm definitely gonna have to do a deeper dive on them. They're we might be looking at the next Coen Brothers, Dan. We just might be, <laughs> you don't know. You never know. You gotta start somewhere. <laughs> well, I think I can beat it. You think I don't wanna be cocky, uh -oh. but I think I can beat it with my number seven, Dan. Oh, but only cocky. time will tell. Let's see this, baby. Here's your number seven. Everybody has that one thing in their house that everybody <sighs> thinks is so cool. Could be a hidden cabinet, little movie room, what? gadget, but ours is this. Oh, what? Um, yeah, okay, so I, I, know, I know what you're gonna say, and I wanna stop you 
right there <laughs> and say, I agree. What exactly is happening? We don't know. The only reason I included this in this week's top 10 is because I want that in my house. I want some kind of door that's actually a refrigerator or <laughs> secret room that's actually in a fireplace. That's it. Nothing further than that. Nothing more to say. Yes. File under, aspirational, inspirational. I don't wanna write this guy off, but does a guy that dresses like that really have a house like that? That's a good question. I don't think so, but hey, even if this isn't their place, I like that they've found a way to fake us out, okay? I sure. like that they've found a sure. way to utilize this space. This could be a museum. I don't really care. I like watching it. Mm. Had to do it to him. Had to get him good. <laughs> yeah, and this next user had to do it to him as well. This is my pick six. Pick six. So somebody told me that ducks can't be potty trained. And they have no control over their sphincter. I read it in a comment. And I, being the scientist that I am, I'm going to take a closer look. Have these on and let the duck sit on my glasses. <laughs> They're fogged up. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh! So it is It is true. Don't. Oi, oi, oi. Yuck! Someone come get your man. He's got poopies on his glasses. Um... <laughs> I, I'd love I'd love to see more from this guy. I, I took a little look at him. I, I'd love it if he was a scientist. I'd love it if he did uh, more videos like this. The ducks are adorable. They're lovable. The, this guy is uh, yeah. a pretty funny guy with good comedic timing. Um, most of his videos, though, are, it seems like he wants to be a male model. But yeah, still love the video. First of all, who thinks of that? Who thinks of like, I have these two adorable little birds and I'm gonna make them shit on my eyeball. Like who, who jumps to that conclusion? I have no idea. It's either weird or creative genius. I dig it either way. Yes. So I wanna see more. Yeah. I wanna see more from him for sure. I, I think you have a pretty high bar to reach for number six. Number six, my pick six. Here, Can we roll that clip? Here it is. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no no no! <laughs> there's dark humor and then there's that right there. I don't know what to call that. Dad shows off, stops his bike, <laughs> he gets caught in tire, and literally look at that boss frame there! He's literally getting stuck in the spoke. Did he survive? Is this legal? I don't know. Ah, this is like crunching my brain in half. I don't know. I feel the pain here. But seriously, like, how did he ride out of this alive? I mean, I hope he did, man. I really hope he did. I do too. I, I hate laughing at things that ultimately are just horrible, but hey, yeah. I'm guilty of it. So yeah. here we are. It's dark humor. Yeah. Dark humor, I but it made it to my pick six for sure. Thought okay, Dan, we're halfway there. We are at your pick five. Let's hear it. Here, here we go. <laughs> okay, so back to the work. So, Dan, it is time for my number five clip. Can you roll that clip? Here it is. It's the remix. Doja. Ooh, ooh, oh, I wanted more of that. Yeah, I don't know if you've ever seen this before. It's called Bioluminescence. Um, it happens actually a couple places in the world, but it's happening in California right now. And what it is, is it's plankton. They react, I guess, to oxygen. So when you touch them, they make all these cool colors. So that is not edited footage. That is real footage of him surfing and everywhere it rolls over, it's creating this bioluminescence. Oh. This is Halo. <laughs> Beach style. This is beachy <laughs> halo. Uh, Those plankton are lit. <laughs> they're, they're lit. lit. They're lit. <laughs> Straight up. Maybe hot all the time. <laughs> Straight up. I love that. I lo great uh, find. Great find. All right. So we're entering the top four. We've got my number four pick. Yes. Number four pick. Here we go. This is me. Damn, it really do be beautiful outside right now. But you know what? It's not beautiful, or Dan is not oh, beautiful. My than God, you. best oh. new best friend alert! New best friend alert! Oh. <laughs> Look at that big boy! I want to 
<laughs> squeeze his cheek. Look at that big boy. Yeah, big cheeks. Big boy. Oh. Big love to that TikTok user who has clearly found himself a new friend. And this is also a TikTok blessing. I love it. I love <laughs> this pig, Dan. I think it's really fun. And what's amazing about these fish, my dad actually collects some of them. Uh, they can live to be a hundred years old. So they're really old fish. I'm not sure about this particular species, but it definitely, I mean, it started really tiny. So it's amazing to see it become this like little fat puffer that's just friendly and you want to cuddle him. Yeah, yeah he's very outgoing. He's approaching humans. It's, it's rare you uh -huh. see that in any animal, especially a fish. So I want to see sure. more of how this all unfolds. It kind of reminds me of the Harry Styles Adore You video, him and his fish. You know, they're just best buds, so. Yep, best friends forever. Seriously, <laughs> cheers to that, mate. Cheers, cheers. Mm -hmm. Here is my number four. Let's see it. And here it goes, I'm just a kid. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, I think it's just interesting. I mean, is it really that cool? No. But I just like the idea of like his older brother's kind of a bully. He's taller and he's just kind of like, look, you don't have to be bigger. You can be smarter. And he just absolutely dupes in there. And I love that. I I'm laughing, but mainly just because of how fake it is. <laughs> like, yeah, like this is so staged. Um, and sometimes that's hilarious. In this case, it is. Acting one out of 10. I mean, he literally looks at his eyes. <laughs> I'm shocked. There's no way to make this feel organic, this action. So the question really is, he wanted the bathroom so bad, he goes in and then he decides he doesn't want it and he comes right back out. Like yeah. there's no way to just justify that motivation. Like, yeah, storytelling is, uh, I don't know. I don't even want to rate it. I'll be too disrespectful. All right, you guys, big part of the show. We are in the top three. These are our medalists. Dan, roll your number three select. Get ready for the medal. Get ready for the medal. <laughs> I know, what did I just see, right? What you're really seeing is triplets. I mean. Am I really though? That's the am thing. I? So you grow up knowing that triplets exist and yet you're a full grown mm -hmm. adult and this still surprises you to know that triplets exist. Uh, it's kind of like, yeah. wow. And then to have all three of them be TikTok famous. It's great. It's a market that we can't do. <laughs> yeah, I can't do this. I mean, you can't even aspire to this, Dan, because there's no way that you can become a triplet. Yeah. So I like this pick a lot, Dan. Thank you. I am a fan. Thank you. I think mine's better though. Okay. Well, time for your number three. My number three. Let's see you do better. T. Eesh. Oh, wait, what? Okay, you didn't get it, Dan, did you? <laughs> you didn't get it. And I totally get it because I think it's kind of thought out more. His wife says to him that she wants a divorce and then she says, I hope you have a horrible life. And he says, do you really want the divorce or not? So he's basically making a joke that like being married to her was horrible. <laughs> That's the joke, Dan. You can laugh now. You can laugh now. <laughs> That's good. Okay, I got you. I'll laugh. <laughs> Um, you know, a little morbid. Um, the guy is too, um, just flat in the face for me to understand. Maybe that's the joke, okay? Maybe I'm just an idiot. Is he funny? Actually, that's his entire theme. He never speaks really, and I'm not sure if this is 100% true, but I believe he is deaf. Well, that's interesting. You know, he's got sound effects there, mm. so adding that, if he's deaf, Huge props to him. I, I want to see a little more from this guy to kind of understand what he's going for. When I first met Mosby82, he was slowly growing, and now I believe he's closer to 100K, and he wants to go up and up. So he's on the rise for sure. Now we are getting very close to our top pick. We're one away. Let's hit the number two selection for you, Dan. Here's number two. <laughs> Oh, truest <laughs> shit ever. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. I want to see so much more of that. I want to see so much more of that. 
Um, that's great. I've seen too much of the stuff that's like satisfying imagery. And it's, it's actually more relatable this way because this happens more often than the good stuff. So yeah, um, yeah, you're right. There's such a market for channels like oddly satisfying that are doing really, really cool and interesting like symmetry and patterns and fun stuff like that. And you're right. There's not a lot of that, <laughs> that like off brand humor that shows those things that we just want to like punch a baby in the face for, you know? Yes. And I think that this is one of those moments for sure. <laughs> I'm bringing the heat with my number two pick. Let me have it. <laughs> oh my God, okay. Yeah, so I wanna cry a real tear here. <laughs> ah, ouch. This one, I, I saw this video and it blew my mind because the truth of the matter is YouTube itself right now is 15 years old I believe Facebook things like that that is our lifetime I remember when Facebook was invented I mean it's like a living memorial of us for eternity yeah you're right it's spooky enough when you dive into chats you had from like five years ago and you see how uh -huh. your personality has changed friendships you've had have changed so there's some really sure. deep stuff going on and this person in a very simple way has demonstrated that to us and i don't know if uh -huh. in the TikTok audience they're woke enough to even handle this kind of information. It's a hard hit. Man. Yeah. It's a hard hit for sure. Whew. Put your hands, your feet, your legs, your lips, your eyelids together for number one. Let's get it. Let's get it. Why don't you say so? <laughs> Shit on the floor! Shit on the floor! <laughs> oh my god. Shitting on TikTok dances is what just happened there. Exactly. This dog looked at all the culture, looked at us, and literally said, you know what? You're not that important. Here's a shit for that. Yeah, yeah. Here's my grade. The dog gave me his grade, and my grade of the dog is the opposite of shit. I think it is the shit. My mind is going wild with possibilities right now. I honestly could see an entire page dedicated to where this dog, in the middle of TikToks that aren't that funny or aren't that good, he literally, it's like a green screen of him, like a meme where he just comes in the middle of TikTok, <laughs> sits down and shits. Yes. And that could be a whole new wave of videos. That video is in the hall of hall fame. Of fame. I am not kidding. It's already made of gold. It's golden shit. <laughs> All right, so Zach, I gotta step it up. This is the number one slot. Here we go. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna Here try. Go. I'm gonna try. <laughs> Ooh, the, the accuracy, <laughs> the accuracy. Yes, I mean, it's such a relatable thing for all of us, whether you're in high school, college, you have a professional job, even if you're an adult just lounging, you know, if you're in your 50s and you're lounging, our brain is conditioned to these things, eat, drink, but then also just technology, 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 technology. And I think it's a really fun, mm -hmm. genius way of highlighting that yes. visually. The detractor is that I've seen this a bit now with it being a theme, but the real thing I love is TikTok, Instagram, TikTok, Instagram, because I know how it feels. You'll go on an app, yes. you'll close the app, and you'll open it back up maybe two seconds later. I've had it happen. It's a thing. Well, that was fun. I, I got a good laugh, and now it's time for a good cringe. The worst of yes. the week. I hope you're ready to hate what I have. <laughs> We're ready. Because here is what I got for my worst of the week. What? <laughs> yeah, dude. I don't even know, man. Um, for like a little- Wait, what? Yeah, I, I mean, so this video is starting to make its rounds. It went, the user is a girl, the girl you see in the shot, and she does a mm. lot of videos with her brother who you also see in the shot. And it's Wait, like- Wait, that's her brother too? Yeah. Oh. So on her page, she does a response to this, and it's like, I'm getting a lot of negative feedback and people don't understand this is innocent, this is a trend. People don't catch her positive intent but she hasn't taken mm. it down. And I'll guess why. She wants the views. She loves the views. Yeah, 100%, okay? yeah. She wants that attention, even if it's good That's or not. That's what I don't yeah, love, 100%. man. It's like, 
Come on. Show, show, show your you. bro bro some respect here. I don't know. All right, Dan, roll my clip for the worst of the week. Let's do this thing. Let's get it. Dude, my uh, what? My ears are dead. <laughs> yeah, worst sound ever. Uh, stupid comment. <laughs> the, the, the image is just bouncing around. His face is nothing. He's just standing there doing nothing. And I, I don't understand it at all. And I also just think it's it's ridiculous. I gotta tell you this though. I love his choice of show poster. I love Stranger Things. <laughs> yeah. Besides that, I mean. Unintentionally, he did one thing right. I just, I, I. All three. I know that like once that clip ended, his mom is like, Ethan, time for dinner. It's like, he's got his door closed yeah. and it's like, this is what he's doing in his spare time. Ethan, come on, man. Uh, we'd love to hear from mm. you guys. Hit our comments up, flood them with comments. What do you love on TikTok? What have you seen here you love? What do you hate? Yes, thank you guys as always for watching. Feedback is huge for us. The more you comment, the more we know if you're liking what we're showing or if you agree with our picks, and we really have fun with that. So from the LA studio, signing off, Dan. Thank you so much, and I look forward to next week. Me too, Z. Me too, man. It was real, it was real. Super real, hyper real. real. <laughs> hyper real. Good night, good morning, so, and good evening. Hey, town.